everybody, it's Wendy, and today we're going to make a necklace using the November edition of the Bargain Bead Box, which was called Holiday Cheer. <clears throat> so, um, first of all, our encouraging word for today is Proverbs 24, 14. Wisdom is sweet to your soul. If you find it, there is a future hope for you, and your hope will not be cut off. That's a good one. All right. <clears throat> so, I'm a little scratchy today. I've been sick, and um, so excuse my scratchy voice. But what you're going to need if you want to make this necklace is this medallion piece from the Bargain Bead Box. Okay, you're going to need a couple of pieces of Coriana chain. Now, this is available on my website. If you want to purchase it, you can. Um, and I will tell you how long these pieces are. I've got one piece... That is right about, looks like 24 and a half inches. And then my second piece is right about, uh, 22 inches. So 24 and a half and 22. Those are my two, um, lengths for my Coriana chain. Okay. And this is a gold color. I've got it in all different colors on my website. Um, you're going to need four crimp beads. Now these crimp beads are size three crimp beads um, and all they're going to do is hold our clamshells in place. So you're going to need four clamshell connectors. You're going to need one jump ring for your medallion piece. You're going to need the toggle clasp from the box and you're going to need two jump rings for the ends of our necklace. Okay. You're going to need one ball head pin. <clears throat> I'm using the cloisonne beads from the box. I'm using these um, hex cut crystals. I'm using some of the gold spacer beads. And I'm using some of the bicones. Okay? And that is all you're going to need if you want to make this necklace. Okay, so let me scoot these things back out of the way. And the tools that I'm using today are some bent chain nose pliers, round nose pliers, cutters, and tweezer nose pliers. Okay, and that's all you're going to need. Okay, so I'm going to take my two pieces of chain here, and I'm going to lay them just like I would want them to be if I was wearing this necklace. So the longer chain on the bottom the shorter chain on the top, and you want to match up your ends, just like this. And this is how it's going to hang when it's on your body, okay? Just like that. Now, I'm going to take my jump ring and I'm going to attach my medallion to it. These are always hard. This is a twisted jump ring. They're really pretty. Kind of hard to see where they open though. And I'm just going to hang this right on the bottom wire, or right on the bottom uh, chain. And close it back up. Just like that. Now, I'm going to take one of my cloisonne beads and my ball head pin, and I'm going to make it angle. I'm just going to put him right on there. I am going to bend this wire 90 degrees. And with my chain nose or my round nose pliers, I'm coming up and over, rotate these up, come underneath, and you have a little loop here. And I'm just going to take this loop and I'm going to wrap. Just wrapping around a couple of, oh no, I was afraid of that with the ball head pin in this cloisonne bead. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do <laughs> Sorry about that. I was afraid that was going to happen. When I put it on there, though, it seemed like it was going to stay. So I was like, okay, it's it's on there. Now we've got that piece of wire in there. Okay. Grab another ball head pin. Sorry about that. <clears throat> These things happen. So the ball on this head pin is not big enough to block the hole on the cloisonne bead, apparently. So what we're going to need is a little spacer bead underneath or... A little flat 
Uh, you could even use a little flat spacer. I'm just going to put a spacer bead underneath here. One of the little gold spacers. That'll hold it on, and I'll put one on top too, just to even it out. And that'll work just fine. So, I was kind of afraid of that, but it seemed like it was going to stay, so I wasn't too worried. But, yeah. Okay, same thing. We're going to make another wrapped loop. So, come up and over. If you grab that really tightly best. I don't always grab it really tightly. And right there, we're just going to take our bent nose pliers again and wrap again. Okay, just go around a couple of times just to secure it and then trim it right off. Okay, and you can tuck that little snaggle in if it's sticking out. And if your loop gets a little crooked, you can take your pliers, stick them back in here, and just straighten everything up. Okay. Straighten it right up. And tuck everything in. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to take this piece right here that I just created, and I'm going to hang it right on this jump ring. I could have done that first before I put the jump ring on here, but I didn't, so... We're going to do it now. Just hang it right on there. That's just going to create a little decorative element down here in front of this medallion piece. Close that back up. So here's what we've got. Okay. Now we're going to take that outside layers of our necklace and we're going to go ahead and we're going to do some beading on here. Now I'm going to take these bigger crystals and I'm going to put one on either side just like that I'm going to do one spacer on either side and one of these cloisonne beads on either side These are a little hard to get your chain through sometimes only because they're hollow in the middle. And your chain wants to, <laughs> doesn't want to go straight through always, but if you keep fussing with it, it will. There we go. I think this box was very pretty. Um, a lot of people complained about a lot of things, <laughs> and I kind of feel sorry for Bargain Bead Box because they're providing a $20 box, including shipping, to your door, and yet people are complaining. Um, it's kind of funny, but some people complain that it should have been Thanksgiving and not Christmas. Well, I remember last year when they did thanksgiving and not christmas this early people complained that they would have liked to have had their christmas stuff earlier so they could have created their christmas jewelry and you know they were like i wish pe they would send it out early so i'd have time to make it before christmas okay well they did this year but now they have people complaining that they sent christmas stuff out too early <laughs> then they have people complaining that there was no chain in the box this time well you know i can tell you that for the last I don't know, 10 years <laughs> or five years, who knows how long that I have um, been receiving the bargain bead box. There has been chain in the box every single time. So, you know, if you haven't built up enough chain by now or you can't come up with your own chain, then I don't know. That's pretty bad. So that was a complaint that somebody had. I don't know. There were just so many complaints and I was like, <laughs> these poor people, here they are putting out this box. It's a curated box too, which is not easy to do, believe me. Um, with supply chain issues still going on and trying to put this box out and you've got all these people just throwing a fit over every little thing. <laughs> some people complaining that it wasn't Christmassy enough. Some people complaining that it was too Christmassy. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. I don't know. I think they just got to do the best they can do and can't please everybody all the time. I mean, I had, you know, I have my own little things that I didn't like about it, but for a $20 box, you really can't beat the value of this box. I don't care what they put in it. 
<laughs> if it's got chain or not, if it's Thanksgiving, if it's Christmas, if it's for $20 shipped to your door, I don't see how anybody can complain too much. So, you know, there's that. I cannot get this bead to go on this chain. I know it will. So I'll just keep trying a different one. So anyway, here's what we're going to do. So I will pause the video to get these beads on this chain so you don't sit and watch me and be frustrated. Um, I'm going to repeat this pattern again. The, this bead, this bead, and this bead one more time. <laughs> so go ahead on each side. So go ahead and do that and come on back. Okay, so I've repeated the pattern again. And I'm just going to end it by using one of these English cup beads and one more little gold spacer on either side. So there is our first layer. Okay. Now for our second layer, we're going to put one of these red crystals right in the middle. And then we're going to do some bicones and some of these gold beads. So I'm going to do a gold spacer on each side. And probably two or three of these bicones. Now I know these bicones will go on this chain because I did try them, but you may have to use... Um, you know, you may have to try different ones because their holes are different sizes. And I may have to actually trim my chain. If your chain is a little bit frayed on the end, then that will make it difficult too to get it on here. The bicones do have tiny little holes. But I did have it on here before, so I know it will work. I'm just trying to cut the little fray piece off here. And they like to separate. <laughs> These links do sometimes. And it's really hard sometimes to get the little bead to go on. Once you get it over that little fray part, it's not too bad. Alright, is this going to work or not? It worked earlier. I did try them. But maybe... It or not. I'm going to smash this together. Yeah, I don't know, guys. This may not work. It did work earlier. I don't know why. Why it worked earlier and it's not wanting to work now. Try one more time here. There we go. It's just a matter of getting that chained where uh, it's not frayed and now it doesn't want to go over down here. There we go. There we go. I'm going to try to do like three bicones and then another gold bead. I'm not going to use any more of the English cut ones right here. I'm going to use them on the ends. So I would like to do, if I can get these on here. And it did work earlier because I did try it. But these little things, their, little, their holes are not even. Um, they do not have consistent holes. <clears throat> So sometimes you just have to pull it and push it and make it happen, which is what I'm doing. There seems to be a little spot there in the chain they don't want to go over. Okay, let's try this other side. <laughs> and see, this is the same thing. I've got little um, frayed area on my chain, I think. There we go. Okay, right like that. And so I'm going to do 
three, another spacer, three, another spacer, three. I'm probably going to do that until it's kind of even with my piece here. So I don't know, I may just do three more in a spacer. But um, go ahead and repeat that pattern a couple times, and then I'm going to end it with these. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here's what I've ended up with. I have done one of the crystals, then the two spacers, three bicones, spacer, bicone, spacer, crystal, spacer. Okay, and it is a little difficult to get the bicones on the chain. You just have to play around with them and find the ones that don't have the smaller holes, but obviously it does work. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to take our crimp beads and our clamshell connectors, our two jump rings, and our clasp. Okay, and holding the necklace, um, well, it doesn't really matter at this point. Let's just go ahead and put our clamshell and crimp bead on. So you put your clamshell connector on here, and then you put your crimp bead on. Now all you need to do is take your plier, don't go at the very end, come down just a little bit so it doesn't, you know, you don't want it to break your, when you crimp this down to break your chain. But you're just going to take your plier and crimp that crimp bead down very firmly, okay? And then you take your um, clamshell up and just close it right over top of that. If you want to put a little glue in there, you can. Um, I don't really think that it's necessary, but if you want to, by all means, go for it. Same thing on the other side. Clamshell on, little crimp bead. Crimp that bead down tightly. And pull the clam up. And if you don't trust it, tug on it. Um, if, you, if it's going to come loose, you want it to come loose right now and not you know, when you're wearing it or when someone else is wearing it, so tug on it. If it doesn't seem firm, stick a little glue in there, but I have not had a problem, so I think that the crimp beads and clamshells work very well on this chain. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with our inside strands. So clamshell with a little crimp bead after it. Flap it down, move this up, and just close it right over top. And same thing for the last one here. makes a very professional looking little finish on your chain. Okay. Now, here's where you want to make sure your inside chain and your outside chain are where they should be. Okay, so we're going to take a um, jump ring. We're going to make sure the inside chain goes on first. Okay. Then you want to put your outside chain on. And then you want to put your toggle bar or clasp, whichever one you're wanting on this side. Whoops. And close it up. And make sure that you get it closed up really good. You don't want anything slipping out. Okay, there's the one side. Now we got to do the same thing on the other side. You've got to make sure that your inside chain goes on first. Right there. And your outside chain goes on the outside. And then your little toggle ring is next. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that this jump ring is closed up really well. Okay, and there we have it.
You can take this, put it right through. You've got a cute little toggle closure and a beautiful little necklace here using products from the Bargain Bead Box Holiday Edition 2022. So let me put this on a form so you can see it better and we'll be right back. Okay, so here we are in my light box. This is how that the necklace hangs. Yeah, I think it's beautiful. I think Bargain Bead Box did a great job of putting together components that we could make beautiful jewelry from this time. Love the cloisonne beads. I love that medallion pendant. It's just, it's beautiful. And these red beads all complement it really, really well. Um, if you wanted to make it more Christmassy, you could definitely put green in it. Um, I just wanted to I just wanted it to be a red necklace, so <laughs> there you have it. doesn't have to be Christmassy if you don't want it to. can be if you want it to. So, great job, Bargain Bead Box. Um, I like this necklace. I think it turned out great. And so, if you like this content and you want to see more of it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll have links for the Bargain Bead Box in the description box below this video. I do have a $2 off coupon. If you would like to subscribe, you can get $2 off of your monthly subscription, the first box. Or if you don't want to subscribe and you just want to shop in their store, you can get $2 off of your purchase in their store, but you can only use it once. And when you do subscribe to their box, you get a 30% off coupon to use over and over as many times as you want during the month, every single month, um, in their store. So like I said, I don't know how anybody can complain about these boxes. They're just a great value all the way around. But um, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.